Hey guys, this is Anastasia Autumnfire, and I wanted to do a quick video on this altar um, to be placed in my altar series. Uh, this is actually a altar space in the kitchen. It is usually my Sabbath altar, but seeing as Samhain is completed, and the next Sabbath is not until Yule, I thought that it seemed right to use it as a peace and unification altar. Right now, with all of the chaos that has kind of broken free and all the negativity that is around us every day, some people saw fit to hold a unity and peace um ritual of sorts the plan was or the request was to get a seven day candle pink or green preferably and set it alight at midnight tonight november 14th well midnight today <laughs> november 14th 2016 um on the november full moon which is a super moon to send out energies of peace, love, unification, and healing um, using those supermoon energies. Uh, when I went to go get the candle, it kind of hit me that, nope, I am not just supposed to do this candle. I need to make an altar and I need to turn it into... Um, I need to have it be more than lighting a candle. I, I'm not sure why I feel led to this, but it turned into taking a seven-day candle and kind of dressing it and create, making it into something different in a way, and then um, creating a, an altar space. And actually tonight it even occurred to me more that I need to do workings in this space for this endeavor. So... Uh, this space has really become something very important, um, and it's evolved in its purpose and intent, I think. Um, the idea for this ritual, I think, is amazing for those people that have are also partaking in this. Um, I was invited via Facebook to, part, to participate in this, and... For those that created it, for those that are inviting others, I thank you. Because I think this is definitely what we need right now. Um, but for right now, let's just give you a quick tour. Um, this is a pretty simple altar. I, I really didn't want to go too elaborate. I didn't even get really a, an altar cloth. I just wanted it. I, I wanted it pretty simple. I wanted it pretty basic for me. Um, we have earth. This is actually a rose quartz, a big chunk of beautiful rose quartz I got from Enchanted Boutique in White Bear Lake. Um, this is my earth elemental uh, candle. And what I did basically was something I've done in the past, uh, taken roses and created the pentacle, uh, the star for the pentacle or pentagram, and then created the circle with stones and candles and all that jazz. Um, the roses I chose actually are yellow roses with pink and orange coloring on the outer petals. I like this because yellow for me is about happiness and warmth and togetherness. Uh, orange also is for energy, motivation. Uh, again, it speaks to joy and happiness. And then pink, of course, is love. And not just kind of, oh, I love you, but that unconditional connected love. So um, I loved these spray roses for that purpose. 
um, then in each of the inner, well, then, well, here, we'll do the outer, we'll work our way in. So <laughs> we have the points of the star have crystal points generating the major spirit candle out um, to connect the elements sorry to come to connect the elements to the working star is an emerald which is a stone that connects to your heart chakra it is about love it is about nurturing it is about growth and fertility and healing um, then I have the elemental warden candle and then uh, an elemental offering of sorts or an elemental connection so here I have my earth warden candle the element of choice for this representation in this case is my giant rose quartz uh, stone of love again a stone that associates itself with the heart chakra um, healing cleansing positivity that those are all great rose quartz attributes then um, kind of in this negative space I have a raw rose quartz chip uh, the stones I try to use as much uh, raw stone as possible um, not sure why it just really spoke to me that it'd be a raw um, not polished stone then back here is what is traditionally the spirit uh, radiating point of the star. I have a pink Himalayan salt uh, in the center of my Kernunos candle, which I made, and my Hell candle, which I've made. Um, both of those candles are actually created for the dark of the year, uh, so representing kind of representing the um, underworld aspect of Kernunos and the crone aspect of hell. Um, but since that's the how the wheel is turned right now, that is what I'm using to represent them in this altar. So they uh, kind of guard over the spirit realm, which is being powered or charged by the Himalayan, sea, or Himalayan pink salt. Um, Salt, again, great for protection. Uh, Himalayan salt is great for healing. And the pink just kind of gives us this gentle energy, I find, uh, for cleansing. Over here we have air. Again, um, rose chip. Emerald being powered by the crystal quartz. Elemental warden candle. And then here we have my incense burner as well as my feather for smudging. Um, I do not have an elemental warding candle for spirit, but that's where the, the lady and the lord or the goddess and god or hell and Kernudos candles come into play. Uh, then we have another rose quartz chip. <laughs> My burnt out match. Um, emerald. Then, uh, fire elemental. And this is actually my love and light a uh, candle for positivity. When someone has someone who is sick, someone passes away, someone needs healing, someone just needs some good juju in their life, this is the candle that I light. So I thought that would be a good um, offering of sorts for this table or altar. Rose quartz chip, emerald. Then we have the water uh, guardian or warden. I chose for water three seashell, three seashells that are cracked and broken. Uh, represent maiden, mother, crone, pre past, present, future, uh, warrior, father, sage. However you resonate. Um, but I wanted three broken pieces of a seashell collected in the abalone shell um, which I use for smudging and purification because the idea is through cleansing of these negative thoughts and, and 
attributes and, and issues that we are kind of reeling from, we can collect these broken pieces. We can collect all of this just <sighs> negative and, and hurt and, and bruised uh, self that we all have right now. And hopefully healing can begin through the cleansing of that negativity. Um, in the inner workings of the candle, then, all of this kind of leads to the seven-day candle, which I've already done a video on. Um, that is what is powering or generating this altar space, this pentacle, what have you. Um, in the front, we have... A rainbow moonstone you can't really see it too great in this lighting but uh, rainbow moonstone of course connects great to full moon goddess energy which is what we are working with um, then we have amethyst crystal chips radiating from the four quarters um, north east south and west uh, spreading out that divine love and spiritual connection and then back here you can kind of see this is a beautiful uh, citrine cluster citrine connects is to the solar energies um, connects to cleansing it is a stone that does not need to be cleaned or cleansed out it naturally repels negativity and increases positivity so i thought that would be a great uh, stone to represent the sun in this grid so we've got the rainbow moonstone for the moon and then the citrine for the sun so we have the Lord and the Lady in multiple ways on as a part of this, working with this energy, but also as a symbol that it love and unity and peace should encompass everything, both night and day, and every period in between. So that is my altar. Uh, what I plan to do is come to this altar daily till I feel that the altar has served its purpose and I make way for Yule or whatever altar takes its place. Um, but I will come here daily and at least leave a petition of peace, love, and healing uh, for our earth. And with that, I will conclude this video. I really hope that these energies are felt and I hope that at least it helps people to pause and ponder their actions before reacting. Um, I understand why people react as they do, but right now... I, I just hope that some healing can happen. Blessed be.